Hey guys, it's the Auto Hound again. So today I went to an event in Westwood, Mass. That was for the Porsche Northeast region for the Porsche Club of America. Unfortunately, I used a new camera. The problem with the new camera is it was a 4K camera. However, it was rather inexpensive. And I guess you get what you pay for. So it was not a good camera. The images were really choppy. I'm not going to put that on my site just because I, I, I'd rather have something of quality as opposed to nothing. So today I want to talk to you about the shifter and the boxster. As you all know, it's a six-speed manual transmission, and I recently switched out from a company called Uniworks Design for the Ben Auto Design Short Shifter Kit. It's an amazing kit. I absolutely love it. I got to drive the car about 130 miles today, and it performed flawlessly. I also want to thank my folks um, over at North Shore Motor Works, James and your team, you did a great job putting this in, so thank you very much. Here's the six-speed. So originally, this shifter had a throw of about five to six inches. Originally, it came up to about here where my finger is, which is way up here. Now, that's first gear, and that's still a good inch away, inch and a half away. Down it's perfect if you take a look I believe the reason why here's the old shifter kit right here this is your old shifter kit and as you can see right in there where the black is against the white plastic this is all plastic again the uh, previous piece the actual short shifter kit that is now in here is all machined aluminum this piece right here went in at my mechanic it took them about two two and a half hours they had to dial it in just to get it just right for me because they know I'm kind of so what I did is I looked at it and you can see look at the throw the throw on this is ridiculous it's over 70 inches but what really is surprising is right inside here I don't know if you can see it on the video I'll try to get as close as I can you can see how it is about an eighth of an inch of it shaved off there from wear and tear over time. And the same thing over here, but also look at that black from the metal rod going back and forth. So all of that wear and tear on the car, on that part, really did play a pretty critical role in this having to be replaced. Because eventually it's not a question of if it's going to fail it's a question of when it's going to fail well that's it here from me now I want to talk a little bit more I want to talk a little bit more about the Boxster itself this is a great little car and I didn't start it up and show you all the little doohickeys and gizmos and gadgets so I'm going to do that right now so we're in neutral right now and you can see there's the dashboard. 100,616 miles. It's 57 degrees today. It's a little chilly. Uh, the only light that stays on is the brake wear light, although it's not really an issue because it's just a brake wear sensor. The brakes are in very good shape, according to my mechanic. So that worked out quite well. The car revs nicely. The car's in solid condition. Uh, runs great so I look forward to getting you guys another video pretty soon on the Boxster on the Porsches uh, specifically because that's kind of as you could probably tell that's my that's my thing I like the Porsche uh, I'm really looking forward to view, reviewing some other cars but this Boxster this one's mine it's my baby and I'm really proud of her uh, if you have any questions, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Again, I'm sorry I couldn't have a longer video today, but I would rather have something quality than something that just doesn't look right on the screen. Thanks a lot. Bye.